when the panel is raised to its vertical position. It all works. The last of the panels is completed. Twelve years after the competition was first announced, the member is finally assembled. The craftsmen who have given years of their lives to the project gather together. بعد سنين راح كنا نقعد ونفكر في الموضوع ونقول يعني الشرف إن كنا أن نشتغلنا في المشروع هذا. No matter how you visualize the the final end, when you see it happening, you see it, all these pieces, bits and pieces that you've worked with, all the sixteen thousand pieces that put together with no glues and no nails, all of a sudden appear as one unit. That's the unity, and that's what we feel as something which is. It gives us also great humbleness because you see that what our ancestors have done and what the art, uh, in fact, that art has a meaning and not art for art's sake. It is very, very important to know that although this is a piece of Islamic art, it's in fact based on universal principles. And so, it is not only for the joys of the Muslims, it is the joy for everyone that could see it. It was the school and Dr. Al Mahed who had rediscovered the underlying geometric patterns that had enabled this great minbar to be built in the first place. With equally as much love and devotion and skill and dedication and care on the part of all the wonderful craftsmen who put so much from their hearts and souls into this work. There has been a tremendous you know, Muslims have woken up and said, yes, this is, this is what, this is what art is, traditional art is, this is what Islamic art is. And people all over the Islamic world, even in places like Saudi Arabia, are waking up and saying, well, look, look, this is, what we've been doing is wrong. We have to reintroduce this. And I think uh, King Abdullah of Saudi Arabia has commissioned uh, a similar member to be, for Mecca and for Medina from our college. So that's, there's been a tremendous trickle down, as it were. The positive effects of the Minbar quest go even further, stimulating a rebirth of interest in traditional craft and design, and a flowering of creativity in Islamic sacred art. And not all the new work copies designs from the past. This new mosque in Amman, commissioned in 2005 by King Abdullah II, was designed by Khaled Azam, principal of the Prince's School in London, using those same principles of design to express modern ideas. was unveiled by King Abdullah II exactly 37 years after his father, the late King Hussein, had set out to replace the lost masterpiece. It had been a longer, harder journey than anyone had imagined, but the result was a triumph.
The king, I think he was fully satisfied with the number that was a complete and accurate recreation and it was in itself a piece of wholly authentic, beautiful, traditional Islamic art. That was a great achievement. Uh, there was, of course, universal positive reaction in the Islamic world, a restoration uh, of Islamic pride in its traditional arts, and also a feeling that Muslims have, in a small way, repaid some of their commitment towards Jerusalem. Now all that remained was to transport the minbar back to Jerusalem to finally take its place in the Al-Aqsa Mosque. But even this was not going to be straightforward. In the summer of 2006, the tensions building up between Israel and her neighbors erupted into a full-scale war. The move was put on hold and the minbar stayed in its workshop in Jordan. It looked like a gloomy ending. People and the world is becoming crazy. But um, the answer is, as you're dealing with the timeless, you're really not creating this for a crazy moment. It's beyond that. I am optimistic that the member will return to its place in the Laksa Mosque. The culminating point is for me, my colleagues who have worked on it, uh, the craftsmen, is to see it back in the Laksa Mosque in Jerusalem and a preacher climbing the stairs, a symbol of climbing the stairs of heaven and preaching the word of God that's coming from above. And that would be the final uh, objective of, of what we have been doing. And I think everyone else is waiting for that moment. At last, six months after its completion, the situation had calmed. Suddenly, the minbar was on the move. Carefully packed into boxes, the Minbar began the difficult journey through a troubled political landscape to its new home.